Hey, good morning to you. Yes, sorry, Jesus is still Lord. The devil is totally defeated. And thank God the word works, but you have to renew your mind to find out what the word says. Romans chapter 12, verse 1, strong verse. I hadn't heard it <clears throat> taught in a number of years. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, we'll get the rest of that verse in a moment, but watch this. We're not supposed to be sick all the time, broke all the time, miserable all the time, have a dysfunctional marriage all the time, and to put up with the stuff that the world has to because you and I are the redeemed. Galatians chapter 3 says that Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. And it goes on to say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So you got to say, I'm redeemed. You're redeemed. So you don't have to have all that yuck that the world's got out there, that stuff, you know, that bad stuff. Now watch this. Be transformed. Don't be the same. If any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. I believe that's 1 Corinthians 5, 17. Now watch, get this, but you do that by the renewing of your mind. Now, a little bit of teaching that you all should know, but people forget it. We are a three-part being, just like there's God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. We were created in his image, so we are a spirit and then we have a mind, will, and emotions up here. And then we have a body. What you're looking at there on your uh, telephone or computer is my body. You can't see my spirit, but it's my spirit on the inside of me that's really causing life to be in my body. But then what I do when I get born again is I have to renew my mind to think like God thinks. Mm, uh, Psalm 112 says, we're not afraid of evil tidings because our mind has renewed and set on the word of God. <clears throat> so when the flu season comes and everybody says, well, you know, the flu's coming, you got to go. Oh, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, no. I say, uh -uh, I don't have to have that. I'm redeemed from the flu season or whatever it is. But you got to renew your mind so that you might know. That's the rest of Psalm, I mean, of uh, Romans 12. One. So that you might prove what is the good, the perfect, and the acceptable will of God? You got to know, well, is it the will of God for me to be poor? No, it is not the will of God for you to be poor. The Bible says wealth and riches shall be in your house. And beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. So you got to renew your mind so that when sickness tries to come, you know to resist it rather than to welcome it. Now, I hate to be this blunt about this, but God didn't allow that on you. You did. I want to say that again. God didn't bring it on you, number one. Number two, God didn't allow it to come on you so he could teach you something. And God didn't let that guy go down to the hospital so he could witness to the doctors and the nurses. You can go to witness to the doctors and the nurses and not be sick. And that's even a better witness. So God didn't allow it. You did. When that sickness started trying to come on you, rather than resisting it, you said, well, I don't know what God wants. You know, the, the ways of God are strange, and maybe the Lord's trying to teach me. And if you believe that, you're going to go through crap the rest of your life, man. I mean, the devil's going to beat you up and tell you that God did it and God allowed it and, and ain't nothing you can do about it and just suffer for Jesus and give Jesus glory and all that other religious stuff, and you're going to be miserable. But yeah, oh yeah, you're going to go to heaven. <clears throat> but what about the right here and now? Hey, I got to go. You got to renew your mind that God is a good God and good things come from a good, good father and bad junk comes from the devil. So quit allowing the devil to mess with your life. I got to go, saints. Have a great day. Renew your mind. Know God's good. Till I'm with you tomorrow, remember, hey, Jesus is Lord and thank God. Hey, the word works.